Hi, my name is Travis Chen, and this is the Spirited Podcast. Today, I'm joined by Frenchie, where we'll take a deep dive into his perspective of his run from the recruiters, how he dealt with grief, but still persevered no matter how hard it got. Welcome, Frenchie. Hello. Why don't you introduce yourself to the listeners out there? Sure. Hi, my name is Francis. However, I go by Frenchie. I'm in 18. Up until I was 11, I lived with my parents and my brother Mitch. After I lost my family, I met and started traveling with a native group, which had Miguans, Nerva, Jiguan, Slopper, Tree, Wab, Chiboy, Riri, and Rose. After a couple years traveling north with my group, I reunited with my father in a resistance group. Throughout the years, I fell in love with Rose and chose to keep traveling with her even after our group split up. So, I understand that you lost some of your family members to the recruiters, whether it was your surrogate family or your biological family. Yeah. Could you uh, touch on how you felt? Yeah, so when I first lost my parents, I wasn't sure what was happening since I was so young and oblivious. Then when my brother sacrificed himself for me, it finally hit me what was happening. I wish he could have left with me instead of leaving me alone, but I know why he did what he did. If he left with me, we both wouldn't live through it. I'm forever grateful for what he did. It's horrible that it happened at such a young age. When I was 16, two Indians, Travis and Lincoln, betrayed our group by attacking us. Does it bother you that my name is also Travis? Not at all. Lincoln had taken drugs and attacked Riri. She was completely defenseless. First, he choked her, but we got him to let go. Then he took off with her and threw her off a cliff. Should have ran faster and stopped Lincoln. I was weak and oblivious. I shouldn't have let my guard down around them just because they were Indians. Something fell off, but I ignored it. It wasn't right. Yeah, I totally understand that, but you know there was nothing you could do, right? Right, but I still feel helpless. If I knew she would die that day, I would have fought harder to protect her. Even if I couldn't, I wish she could have, have kept more of her innocence. She was only seven and had to face the reality of the world. In her position, she would have needed to face that to survive though. Yeah, but she still had some innocence. She wasn't fully aware of the harsh truth of the experiences each of us faced. You mind giving us an example? Not at all. Before we met Travis and Lincoln, Wab opened up about her being a rape survivor while Riri overheard our conversation. That's horrible. It changed the tone of our travels, but Riri was doing her best to keep her spirits up. That's good then. This portion of the podcast is sponsored by Grade 10 English. Grade 10 English is a mandatory course in the high school that requires you to analysis assignments. For example, the podcast you listen to right now. Go to chc.wasb.ca slash English to learn more about Grade 10 English. Now, back to the podcast. Minerva was taken by the recruiters. She protected us by sacrificing herself in order to keep the rest of the group alive. After she was taken, I managed to build enough courage to speak up about going after her. I didn't want to feel helpless about losing Minerva like I did Riri. However, I felt uncertain and guilty that I was leading our group into danger. How did you overcome that fear? I didn't. I was still terrified, but the numbness from Riri's death helped. I had enough courage to persevere. That was very brave of you. I wasn't sure why Minerva noticed recruiters nearby, but didn't want to talk to us about it. I wish she talked to us about it so we could figure something out. Well... Is there anything you'd like to say to the listeners? A piece of advice or something? Cherish what you have now. Everything happens for a reason. If you enjoyed Frenchie's interview, you can listen to the previous episode, Megwan's interview. Keep your eyes peeled for Wob's upcoming video in the next episode. I am Travis Chen, and this was the Spirited Podcast. Mm-hmm.